Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. And in the previous episode, guys, we were basically making our way over to our next destination city to basically go and battle out Ace Arola, our next trial captain. Now, also too, guys, uh, we also stopped over here over at the, I think at the power plant, I don't know if that's what's exactly what it's called. Uh, but I know that we do have to get into a few battles here. Uh, I think there's like one or two battles that we need to go to uh, and do and I think there's actually a, uh, a Yeah, a, a building that's up ahead which we can go out and explore now also too in this episode I would actually like to go and head back to Kony Kony City because there's actually something important that I would actually like to go and do and actually change up a member of our team and uh, I won't let you guys know uh, who the member I'm gonna be changing on my team is going to be and what type of Pokemon I'm gonna be uh, going over to Kony Kony City for but if you guys uh, already kind of know uh, exactly what Cody Cody uh, City has uh, you guys may probably already know uh, what I'm gonna be doing so uh, I'll let you guys know uh, when we actually head on over to Cody Cody City but for right now we'll just go and do a little bit of a team recap and uh, let's go and do this thing so uh, let's go dive right on into here uh, so I should probably get also healed up too while we're at it but I'll just wait for just a few seconds here. So we got Vexed at level 38 with Hyper Voice, of course. That was a brand new move. I believe that was from last episode. Also, we have Sparkly Aura, Baby Doll Eyes, and Icy Wind. We also have Big Papa as well, level 29 with Force Palm, Belly Drum, Sin Attack, and Vital Throw. Also, Kyla at level 31 with Air Cutter, Psychic Torment, and Roost. Also has Sparky at level 35 with Full Switch, Acrobatics, Bun Slap, and Crunch. And we also have Gumball at level 30 with Psychic, Minimize, Ominous Wind, and Gust. And we also have Balboa at level 31 with Rock Throw, Excel Rock, Bite, and Howl. So let's go and get on out of here. And uh, let's do some quick battles to route this route first. And then we'll make our way to Coney Coney City uh, back over at the, I think, what was it, Akala area? That's where it was originally. Uh, now, do I have any super potions? That's the thing. I'm out of super potions. That's just lovely. Uh, but I think if I have enough potions on us, I think we should be alright here. Yeah, we're good. Man, I have to go back and grab some more super potions done. I thought we still had enough. That's what you get when you battle out Guzma and, uh, and that other, uh, and that, uh, oh yeah, and also, uh, the totem, uh, token of Mario. It could actually put a toll on me. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys haven't seen... Uh, the Guzma battle yet. Uh, that was from last episode. I believe that's was from uh, last episode. So uh, that was pretty crazy uh, Yes, so we have ourselves uh, Electric out here. Uh, I feel a little bit afraid uh, having that guy out here um, Do we have anything that is nice? We have must slap, but that's not gonna do too much damage. But you know what, let's actually go and do that instead. We'll switch out into Sparky, of course, to help us out. And I think we're almost about to be becoming uh, a Viki Volt anyways, so that's going to be very uh, helpful when we actually uh, be able uh, to like fly around different places and whatnot, because I think that's actually a TM that we can get, um, hopefully, in Ultra Sun. Uh, so let's go and use, I don't know, let's try out Acrobatics. Maybe Acrobatics is going to do some damage. Thunderfang doesn't does a, uh, doesn't do a lot, but I feel a little bit afraid about this getting uh, getting into static territory because I don't want to get paralyzed out here. Ah, oh, that doesn't do anything, man. Really? All right. Well, at least Thunderfang doesn't do that much damage. I'm not really all that too worried about uh, losing out a member here. Okay, we got one more crunch to go, and I don't think Thunder Fade's gonna do that much again. It hasn't gotten into a critical, so I'm fine with that. There we go, and Electric is down, and of course this place is gonna be the uh, the power plant section, so you know that there's gonna be some Electric type Pokemon around here. And also Electabuzz, um... Now, it could go either way. Uh, I'm just gonna use Vexen out here. I don't know what this Electabuzz is going to have. It may probably have Thunder Punch. But hopefully with the uh, Hydro Vortex, it can at least do some damage out here. I don't know if Hyper Voice would do a lot. It would probably just do half damage. Oh, it has Low Kick, though. Okay, not bad. I thought it was going to be setting up an Electro-type move because I have a Water-type Pokemon out here. 
because normally all these NPCs that I have battled out so far are basically Wi-Fi battlers, so I thought they were gonna at least do something annoying out here. But that's kind of strange how in this in this beginning of the episode that has not even happened yet. yet. I think they're gonna wait for the perfect time to strike and then they're gonna try and hit me or something. So that should take out the Electabuzz with some neutral damage, which is pretty good there. Get everybody up to some good EXP, so Big Papa's now at level 30 and wants to learn smelly salts, okay. Um, I guess we'll forget about Sand Attack, we don't really need to worry about Sand Attack anymore. I, I kind of want to have Sand Attack just there for like a backup during that time with the whole Toga de Mario thing, cause like, if if all my Pokemon were going to be getting knocked out, I may probably want to just have some sand attacks and just hopefully make sure that it misses. Oh right, yeah, isn't there supposed to be like a little bit of a side quest mission type thing over here to to learn about? Oh no, okay, never mind. Perhaps there's influence of the power plant, but the electric Pokemon I have never used to see, so now come here. Got some uh, charger bugs hanging out as well. So that's pretty nice, you can actually go and talk to a Magnemite if you wanted to. And uh, play around with it. So welcome to the power plant. There's nothing really too much going on here, but we can go and pick up a totem sticker. I think there's actually a totem sticker somewhere around here. Yeah. I don't really think there's anything else that you can get from these people. Maybe a thunderstone. I could be wrong. Uh oh, what the heck's going on here? It seems like. Oh, there's a power outage. How many times do I have to tell you if you suck up all the electricity at once, we lose power and the whole place goes dark? Well, what's he gonna give us here? Sorry, so I hope you weren't afraid just now, but that man is actually my Pokemon, and I'm really sorry if you give you a shock, but I'll give you something, uh, uh, scintillating, uh, TM, uh, since I'm sorry. So let's see what we get here. Embargo. Uh, okay, I'll take it. I don't really use that, I uh, use that TM anyways, because. It's nice to have to make sure that nobody doesn't use an item, but like what are you gonna really use for embargo? Because I believe it, it, it battles now. I don't even think like um like even in Wi-Fi battle, like embargo is not really all that too great. Uh, Cause like as long because like if you have like a super like a hyper potion or something like on you, like on your Pokemon, like I don't think I don't think it will ever like work. That's a, that's like the only time that embargo will only hit. So I don't really use that move. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and head back on over to Coney Coney City though. And uh, we'll see what is going on over here. So I think what was Coney Coney City was right down here, yeah. So apparently, um, from what I've been, uh, so, uh, yeah, so apparently from what I've been heard is that you can actually find fossils here at Coney Coney City. And there's actually a certain specific type of Pokemon that I would actually like to switch out for. And uh, unfortunately, I have to say goodbye to that one member on my team. Because uh, I would actually like to have this Pokemon on our team for the time being. Because I think this Pokemon would be very nice to have. And I have to find the stone shop. So hopefully uh, the certain type of fossil that I find here is actually going to be the one that I need. So we're just gonna, um, no, we don't need any incense. I'm not here to buy any incense. Technical machine shop. Uh, you're not the stone guy, so. That is actually is pretty nice, but. So that we don't need. Do you wanna know if your Pokemon feel friendly towards you? Nope. Just wanna find the stone shop. That's all I want. Oh, that's the restaurant. That's not gonna help me out. All right, where the heck is the stone shop? Apparently there's supposed to be a stone shop here and I don't see it. Jewelry shop. Oh, okay, here's all the stones. All right, now I'm pretty sure it may probably be the person at the back here that may probably have the fossils. One customer per set stone, ah, here we go, okay. Now, just before I forget, I need to make sure exactly what the stone is, so. So it's one per customer, so I have to be set on this one. Aha, okay, I got it. All right, guys, place your uh, place your comments down below on what type of fossil I'm gonna get, but don't cheat. Don't cheat halfway, uh, halfway through and um, trying to figure out what the Pokemon I'm gonna be getting, but I am gonna be getting the jaw fossil. So that is what I'm gonna be getting here. 
and that's going to be for 7,000 freaking Poké Dollars, which that's an insane amount of money. But, it's pretty good. I'm going to grab Tyrantrum. I love Tyrantrum. I used this Pokémon quite a bit back when I was doing my X and Y days uh, for my final uh, days of playing competitive. And Tyrantrum was actually one of the Pokémon that I kind of use frequently, and I really do like it. It's, uh, I, I believe it, it, it becomes a Rock and Dragon type Pokémon, I think. And it's a very nice uh, type of, uh, uh, very nice uh, Pokémon to grab. Uh, so, I need to figure out how I need to open this guy up, so. Uh, so, where to take... Where to take, um... Fossils... In... Ultra Moon. Okay, I guess Ultra Moon or Sun. Find Olivia shop that's located at the city's crossroads. Across from the Pokemon Center. What? Olivia shop? Where the heck's the- Oh! Okay, Olivia shop, so... Wait, right down here? Well, this is Olivia shop, is it not? So who do I take this dude? I just take it back to her or something? Okay. Well, it's one per customer. But... Who would I need to bring this to, though? Oh, there's Olivia right here. I may be an Aikuhun, but I'm also a regular woman. Okay. I'll go pick up that Togo sticker, though. But I need... Oh, there's, a uh, The pre-evolution of Beware. But I need to speak to someone who can help me out with this annoying fossil thing. Do I have to watch a YouTube video to figure out how to do this? Because I, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh! It's all the way up top there. What? Yeah, that's Olivia's shop to grab all the fossils and stuff. But I would like to go and head to the, uh... To the fossil section here. So it's all the way up top this way. Where the fossil center is or something. So let's go ahead on down there, and I need to charge up my my uh, Xbox controller once again. Man, I just had rechargeable batteries in here, and I thought they were going to be long-lasting, but apparently that's not the case. Oh, you know what? We better have to say goodbye to our Pokemon that is going to be on the team, because I'm going to be switching out this Pokemon out and around here. So the Pokemon that I am going to be sending out, guys, is unfortunately I am going to be taking out my Lycan Rock. Uh, unfortunately, Belvo has been uh, somewhat of an okay Pokemon on our team, uh, but it's just getting bodied quite a bit, and uh, I would like to figure out another better type of, uh, of like rock or ground type Pokemon anyways, and I think Tyrantrum would do the job just fine because it has that, um, that part dragon to it as well too, which that's uh, pretty nice to have. And I know that we're going to have, like, two Dragon-type Pokemon on the team, so both having a Noivern and also a Tyrantrum would actually be pretty sick. But it's just that we have to watch out for any type of Ice-type attacks that comes, that comes our way, because we have a lot of Pokemon that are actually weak to Ice or uh, weak to uh, or weak to Electric, because uh, we have Driplum that is, like, weak to Electric because it has to part flying, and also Noibat as well, that's also going to be another problem. And same with our, um, our Water-type Pokemon Vexen out here as well, too. So there we go, our boy Tarantrum is going to be coming over here soon, but I know that we have a Tyrod, but we should be able to get up this Pokemon up to level 40, and I don't see why that should not be a problem. And I am, am going to be naming you, um, oh, what's the, what's the one monster that was from Rugrats, and I forget what the name of it's called, Raptor, that is what it is, aha! I knew that that was going to pop them in my, in my head soon. But I want to make sure if that's the actual, uh, or Reptar, I think that was called. Not Raptar, Reptar. No! Oh, why did I do that? Wrong E. Or wrong one, there we go. 
Let me just make sure that that's it. Yeah. Reptar. That was my original name that I named my uh, transfer before. But there we go, guys. Brand new member on the team. This should be pretty fun. Can't wait till I use it. And I don't think there's really anything else here for us to do, but I actually go and head on over to our next main city. So we'll go make our journey back to the Route 12, and we'll head on down to the bottom part now. So that's all that I really wanted to do was uh, to go and see if that was actually true, to see if I could actually grab out uh, some fossils and stuff, and it seems like that is true, so. I, did, I just never actually got myself a fossil-type Pokemon uh, here in this game yet, so that's pretty nice that I've actually done that. So let's go head on down this way, because that is where we do need to go. And let's just make it on over here. I'll do some off-record battling anyways after this video is over, so. Here we are, Route 13. Looks like we got some sort of like hotel type situation going on if we want to go and stay here. Well, a few two in the morning was strong, but I managed to get through that trial too. Yeah, see, no kidding, how? Like, seriously, man, that, that Togo Namari was actually pretty strong. Like, I have to say, if I was actually playing Pokemon Ultra Moon, I think I would actually do a little bit of a much better job with having my Lycan Rock there. But, uh, listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog, but do you know anything about it? Uh, no, we, uh, uh, no, not that we would tell you. So do you know something? Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but it has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that to happen, it would be a disaster for the Alola. A disaster? Like a real disaster? Then what are you supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you don't know where Cosmog is, or if you do, uh, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know it might be working for Team Skull right now, but so you may not trust me or care, but I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. Okay. And I still don't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean? No matter what, you're just going to leave us hanging? I guess so. Crocs. If they're really looking for Cosmog, then Lily's going to be okay. I don't really get what's going on, but we just have to keep both of them safe, right? Now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take on the next trials to train with my partner. Look, I'm going to... Uh, I, look, I know uh, Gizmo was saying all those things, but I really want to complete my island challenge and help people learn about the Pokemon battling. And I don't know. I, I gotta make sure that I get uh, make sure I really get what my partner's feeling too. All right. So we're getting closer to our destination here soon. And it seems like there's also another side quest thing that we can do, but I'm not gonna really worry about that all that too much. Just want to just make it to the city and just call it a day here. Oh, there's another one of those. Um, pre-evolution uh, of beware and I forget I don't know why I keep on forgetting what the actual name of that Pokemon is there's just so many Pokemon that I just cannot keep up with all the names it's just like <laughs> like I've been playing Pokemon for like so long and I still forget like half of like the Pokemon names because like most of like most of the new modern Pokemon now so yeah, welcome to Tapu Village. I believe this is the actual place that's right here that we do need to go and talk uh, talk to here. So that's where Mount uh, Lakinlele is, or whatever that's actually called for the uh, for the Elite Four Challenge place. Mount Lakakia or whatever. So I'm not going to really worry about that right now. But uh, hopefully we don't really go and battle right now, because I'm not in the mood to battle. Oh man, more Ultra Recon Squad people showing up. What do you guys want this time? So this is Tabu Village. We will need to investigate the, uh, it quite thoroughly. According uh, to the records we have left uh, to us, it seems that this is where Necrozma battled against the Tapu when it came to Alola long ago, hungering for its lights. It may be the case uh, that the power which came from pouring out with the Ultra Wormhole at that time, but what has changed is Pokemon's regular moves and to Z moves such theories has just been suggested. Our ancestors were greedy and they thought to control of Necrozma's light, but that was the result of that, and they only hurt Necrozma by making it to lose a part of itself and causing it to run wild and steal all of the light it could find. So that's why we have Necrozma cooped up in the Megalo Tower, our great ancestors built. It contains Necrozma in its rage, but that facility has reached its limit, and Necrozma hungers for light. 
And that's why we came to Alola in hopes of finding a new method to defeat Necrozma. But yet, it seems that uh, it will be a difficult mission for us who are so new to the Pokemon battle and to ever hope to defeat Necrozma. So at least we get to learn a little bit more about uh, where Necrozma is. But I have to say, I have seen the actual um, like uh, part where you actually do fight uh, the combined version of both uh, your your Pokemon that, that that's like the mascot of your game and also the crossbow together, and that battle is pretty cool. And I don't know if if, if it's like 100% capture or whatever for the cross uh, for whatever the like uh, the crossma is going to be, but I but I think that's what I've been hearing. It's like it's like 100% capture or something. I'm not too entirely certain, but. It should be interesting. I've never really actually fully played out the whole entire game of Pokemon Ultra Sun, so it should be awesome to, to see what's going on and actually trying it out for myself. Um, but anyways, I don't forget to leave a comment, like, or subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're going to be making our, our, over our way to where I think where Ace Arola's place is going to be, and we're going to be interacting with her. And then I believe if we just head down to the south, that is where the abandoned shop is going to be. And that is where we're going to be taking care of Ace Arola's trial challenge. So that is going to be awesome. And, uh, and I think... Um, that one doesn't change. I'm not too entirely certain if, uh, if this one is actually a permanent one. Uh, but I'm pretty certain I think Mimikyu actually stays the same. I don't know if there's, like, another Pokemon that, that changes up in there in particular. Um, but we'll find out anyways. Um, I don't know if I already said the comment question of the day yet. Um, uh, but the comment question of the day would probably have to be, um, I don't know. I think I've already said what is your favorite fossil Pokemon and already all that. Um... Hmm. I don't know. I can't really think of one off the top of my head. Um, but you guys will be seeing uh, a comic question of the day in the layout of course. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, so the comic question of the day that I wanted to actually bring out to you guys is that um, when I hit up to like 250 subscribers or up to like, I don't know, like, yeah, I think 250 subs w would probably be doable. But if you guys, uh, but, but if I ever do get up to, like, 250 subscribers, would you guys want me to actually, like, sell, like, merchandise shirts and stuff? And, like, uh, and if you guys want to have, like, your own shirts and everything like that that goes on, like, whenever I do, like, a co-op, uh, with somebody, like, like, for example, like, Dre Crow or something like that, do you guys want me to, like, make shirts and stuff? And, and you guys can, like, wear them and whatnot? I don't know. Um, but that's my comment question of the day is that if you if, if when I hit up to like 250 subs or maybe 300 subscribers or something like that Do you guys want me to sell uh, merchandise shirts and whatnot? Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys then and peace